Hey everybody, welcome to Sonic Lab. Today we're looking at the Slate Anna 2 Ultra Bundle. Uh, yeah, this is a sponsored video because obviously they're very proud of this new bank of uh, uh, sounds that they've created for this interesting synth. In fact, I've not actually come across this before. Uh, I've got it here installed in Reaper uh, and a little keyboard overlay and we've got a bit of patch business. Uh, but it's quite a powerful instrument. In fact, if we come back to uh, the main page here, uh, they've created six new banks, Ultra Factory, Eurorack, Sad Trap, Cinematic SD1 and Detroit, and they've all got sort of very different flavours. They've also got different skins, which kind of helps you see what's going on. I'm not a massive uh, VST instrument person, but when you get the kind of the right thing, sometimes they sound amazing. And the thing about this Ultra 2, it's by uh, in conjunction with Sonic Academy, it's quite interesting. It's got three wavetable oscillators, three sample oscillators, 47 filter types, uh, three envelopes here, plus uh, three G envelopes, which are kind of drawable modulation curves, a whole bunch of effects, uh, four macros, which is a bit light, but actually you seem to be able to achieve quite a lot with it. Chord memory device, arpeggiator, all the lots and lots of effects. The idea with this uh, is really just to have a sort of preset flip and a bit of an explore around rather than review. As I say, uh, I want to say thank you very much to Slate for supporting us by sponsoring this video and really want to just see what it sounds like. So let's get stuck in. Right, what I've done uh, before I start, I've gone through and I've created, uh, I've gone through each of the banks, which are the ultra banks here, and I've sort of favorited ones that I thought sounded pretty good. So we'll start with uh, this one called Time Travel, which has got a bit of noise on it because I think there's some distortion effects. So let's just have a listen. Macros I've got mapped to the four knobs on this uh, key step 37. I mean, this is very cinematic sort of vibe. Let's just bring up another one. Uh, Subsonic. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows, everybody needs one of these in their life, don't they, from time to time? Bang, that kind of door slam type thing. Quite a lot of variation with this as well, with the macros. Uh, moving on. Robotic Panic Riser. Sort of interesting mechanical kind of uh, steampunk futuristic thing. What's this one? Reamped Voices. Again, the macros. Add a lot of motion and movement. I have to say, the effects in this are really good. And remember, uh, let's see what's going on with this one. It looks like we've got, uh, there are potentially up to three oscillators here. And it looks like we're using three of the wave, uh, wave, shape, wave table oscillators and one of the sample ones, which is, I think is in a loop, a looped mode. Quite a nice sound, that. Let's see what's next. Noisy talk box. Again, quite, quite a lot of... Seems to be some really interesting saturation and drive going on this. Uh, that's another one of those slams. Variants on that, but again, you know, this is really quite massive sound. Oh, this is it. So it's like a piano sample. We've got uh, noise, oh, that's interesting. 
So that's just the machine noise. Where's the piano coming from? Must be coming from these wavetables. How, how interesting. So that's a waveform. Oh, yeah, that's a Rhodes. Yeah, so there are obviously piano uh, samples in there as well. OK. I'll try and move on because there are a lot of presets. I don't know how many there are total. I should probably have done some research. I'll put the number up uh, now. <laughs> uses that gating thing, um, interesting riser. Sync mover, what's that do? That must be something doing something on the wavetable. Yeah, so that's macros move. There are only four macros, but they do send, tend to, they do seem to give quite a large amount of, th these are really nicely programmed. Good work. Guys and gals, that's actually not bad stuff. Uh, let's take another look at uh, Glitch Compute. This rings up some really... Again, use of some really... There's some nice algorithms in the distortion here. Some very interesting sounds there. OK, I'll try and flip through these a bit. Let's have a look, see where I am in my... Uh, oh, no, I've done those, so let's go on to another bank. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's MPC, isn't it? And I think the idea behind the uh, Detroit Bank, if I remember, is to take sort of tra more traditional sounds but sort of turn them into uh, something a little bit warped, a little bit twisted. So, you know, not just a bass but something a bit wonky. So let's uh, listen. This first one is called uh, st st Orchestra. Orchestra. <laughs> Ah, we got different layers for cello, violas and violins. It's just samples by the looks of things. Wonder what happens if we bring in some of this. That's quite nice as well. Adds a bit. Of... Let's see what if we Add a bit of detune to that. Yeah, I quite like that, but that's interesting. Sort of quite old school, almost Mellotron like. But it's got a uh, soul food rose. Oh, this introduces. Something which is a, a feature which I don't know that much about, but it's called chord memory. You can see that here. So each of these notes has. And you can... If I do it up an octave... If I knew what each of these chords was, I could be playing sort of lead line over the top. Let's see what these uh, macros do. Let's close that, because that's obscuring it. But it's a kind of nice feature. Give it a bit of wonkiness. Yeah, but uh, interesting. So that's called Soul Food Roads. What's this one called? So, oh, yeah, there's some really good sort of 808 style uh, bass line slash bass drums in here. Um, these are kind of obviously quite now. Lot hear a lot of this stuff in modern sort of pop R&B productions. one. Smooth pits bass. Again, what's the, oh, that, this the, so that's how, yeah, we can add some sub, some more saturation. We can hear that, they can see that there's a, a sort of a multi limiter across this in the multi effect. Again, another really nice uh, chunky sound. Slider. I get this is another similar sort of sound, but turned into more of a monophonic bass line. Got 
mids, drive and harmonics. Just kind of nice. Up. What's that doing? Is that sort of folding the wave or? Yeah. Again, there's a surprising amount of thud and weight to it and it feels like this is a... So this is, yeah, this is, a, 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 it's called a, uh, what's it called? Ocean organ. Very wonky. Just a little bit of it's almost transistor organy, but it's got a little more going. Again, we can hear some of those nice effects. Marvin's orchestra. Put the sustain pedal on. Again, it's got a kind of Mellotron type feel. Turn the bells up, strings. Yeah. You can imagine that with a sort of nice tinkly uh, line. Uh, laser pad, let's see what this does. that sort of tinkly sound and make the oh my goodness the width on that again very impressive width on that tremolo and variation, bit depth, that's nice. Mm. Another 808 style thing. sort of that thick bottom it sounds very analog I don't know whether that's all in the effect uh, like I say it's not really a review of the synths more of the kind of sounds here all these sounds are available exclusively to Slate Digital subscribers via the all access pass uh, which there are three ways of paying for that it's a subscription system but there are monthly in advance monthly you know so but essentially the benefits are all exactly the same so you only not only do you get the Anna 2 bundle but you get over five grand's worth of their pro plugins as well, and demo sessions, and uh, educational stuff, custom samples, every new synth plugin pack, demo session masterclass are all free as part of that. So uh, if you're interested in going and checking it out, head over to Slate Digital. So let's get back to our screen. This is just a sort of simple upright piano. With a little sine wave behind it by the sound of things. Yeah, it's quite nice. Certainly usable. Got quite of. Oh, so we got. Look, sounds like we've got a synth tone plus a, te a bell sample plus plus a kalimba sample. You can imagine. You can imagine that playing a sort of tinkly additional line on the on something. Whistler, let's see, I think we might be out of our patches now, so let's move on to the Eurorack. This has got quite a groovy uh, um, skin, so essentially it's the same synth engine underneath this, but it's got a skin that kind of matches the sounds, which I guess if you're used, if, if you're, you know, like to see what you're doing, uh, helps you maybe memory, you know, oh yeah, I had a patch that, you know, oh yeah, I think it was in the Ultra Bundle, uh, the, 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 the modular version, it might help you kind of recognise it. But this again, Mellotron style thing, perhaps not all that Euroraki, but there are some lovely 
This is more your kind of... Three kind of style, which shows it's definitely capable of. And that distortion is great. It's got it adds so so much cream to the low end. So if you want that kind of, you know, it does that too. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, this one is fourth square bass. That's probably yeah nice again got this sort of creamy low end to it Arpeggiator. Just have a quick look at that. Uh, we've got a, a straight arpeggiator in here, and this is a quite interesting because you can tie it in with the chord um, uh, device, which means that every time you play a note, you get almost like a different sequence on each one, which is kind of a cool idea. Anyway, uh, back to the patch. Let's see what these macros do. It's actually got quite a rich tone, hasn't it, considering? I mean, but yeah, with, with six oscillators to choose from, you'd hope that there would be plenty of that going on. What's this one? I think this is more of an interesting pad. It's almost a one note atmosphere. What's it like really high? Yeah, that's kind of, that's a tension note right there. Oh, a good bit of shimmer reverb here. And the quality of these effects, it's very, it's a very stereo kind of image. Uh, can chase with chop. Ah, oh, this is a good one. This is, uh, this is, just think John Carpenter. sort of pulsing uh, sound there. Blippity bloop. This is using... Interesting, using the VCS3, EMS VCS3 filter type. Uh, how do I get there? Analog. I've noticed that's being used in a few patches. It's got a really nice sound. We've got two filters here that we can run in series or parallel, obviously. Let's move on to our next patch. I think we've got a couple more in this bank. Thank you. 
again, really thick low end there. It's another excellent wide pad. Let's go on to the next bank, factory bank. I think this bank is kind of, it feels like it's more kind of workstation-esque sounds to me. Bread and butter kind of sounds. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Mist. <laughs> the mist, cellos in mist soundtrack. cellos. Just a good sort of standard plucky kind of synth. They seem to use quite a lot of um, noise samples. Yeah, here we go, there's vinyl in here. To kind of add that kind of grit. It's an interesting technique. Uh, Oh, this is a, another one that's... Now, see what This is a high pass on this. So see what happens to bring this in the bass, the drum drops in. Yeah, that sounds nice. It's, again, it's got that kind of... Uh, creamy thud that uh, you like. More of a hop than a jump. Ah, right, okay. Now, um, often when I'm demonstrating some kind of synth, I might get asked, does it do jump? And let's see if this is a... Get it up. Side. I'd say it's pretty close, right? And that's using the Oberheim uh, uh, low pass filter, no surprise there. Oh, this one, I, li I like this one. Now, this one is, um, I think it's a sample of a, uh, it says Ibi Neck, I guess it's a, uh, let's have a look, there's a sample in here which is Ibanez Clean Neck, and it's very sort of goth. The only thing that I'd probably do is maybe take the cut off down a bit on that and add a bit more velocity sensitivity. So we've got a bit more up at my... I think I did a patch, similar patch on the analog factory. So look, is there a, another nice pad? Again, using that easy EMS VCS3 filter, which seems to be a firm favourite of the sound designer, or certainly some of them, because these aren't done by name, and certainly not in the title up here. And that is, I have to agree, that is a very nice um, filter model. 46 or 47 filter models to play with. Should keep you going for a long time, right? Uh, dream, oh, this is a more... Sounds like an old FM patch. Uses. I think we might be through. This is the last one. Another nice pad. Get the macros.
I think we've got another bank to go. What's the last bank that we've got to look at? Uh, Ultra SDY. Now, this is this is funny. I mean, look at this. Don't tell... I, if I get rid of the keyboard and go here. Now, uh, is anyone else feeling the OP1 here? I certainly am. Look at the keys down the bottom here and uh, just the knob caps and stuff. I mean, I think they've definitely gone for that vibe. Uh, so here's some nice sounds on here. So I guess this is more your sort of lo-fi bit crushed, but... Some nice, let's see what happens if we drive that filter hard. Yeah, there's some big old harmonics down there, isn't there? What's next? Again. Just a massive wall of sound with a huge, wide chorus and phaser on it. Yeah, demonstrates those uh, effects nicely again. Don't like the noise on that, let's... And this one brings in a detuned third. Yeah, quite a pleasing sound. This is uh, your kind of bass, 808 bass line kind of sound. And just bite and force. Let's see, can we look at the macros? I'm just seeing where do, where do we see the macros? Uh, I can't see it. Mod. Ah, macro, there we go. So it looks like we've got 16 or so macros there. I think the thing is, is they just have a sort of, this, what it was the scaling of them or whether they're logarithmic, or they, they seem to have a very musical range on the knobs. Okay, let's have a look at another one here. Gosh, this is gonna be a long video, sorry folks. This is a very touch sensitive. Sounds like there's a low pass filter on here, band pass filter possibly. It's using the Oberheim filters, it's very nice. Just a massive kick drum, not sure about that one. Dulcimer. Yeah, interesting. I don't really know what sad trap is, but this is apparently what it looks like. Urban, I think. Reminds me of the uh, sort of emu mofat and some nice sounds in here though. Let's see what we've got next. sound. I guess this must be using the ARP. Ah, this is what I think what I was talking about. It's using the ARP and it's using the chord edit. Oh no, it's just a fixed chord. Interesting. I'm not quite sure how they're doing that, but it's got an interesting sort of reaction um, interplay between the chord memory and the um, and the arpeggiator. Very 
interesting sort of warped piano. Hmm, interesting. So that kind of brings us to the end of our, of our uh, look at the patches. I mean, I can't play them all. I mean, with the uh, Anna 2 Ultra Bundle, there are literally hundreds of them. I can't even find... I'm not going to count them all, but it says... Ah, right, 800 presets you get all together. But I think some of those are come with the bank. This isn't just the Ultra Bundle, I think, but I could be wrong there. I mean, there's a ton of them, and lots of them sound really, really good. And like I say, I'd not really come across the Anna 2 engine before, but I like the sound of it. It's got... It's got a sort of warmth and organic vibe uh, and the effects are really good too. So you end up with quite a lot of the best of both worlds. It's part of the Get Access, Get All, All Access bundle. Uh, it is subscription only so for those of you who like to buy these things outright. You can still get hold of Analog Anna 2, but you wouldn't get access of these banks. So there are various different packages available, but not only do you get the, bun the Anna 2 bundle with, with uh, all the banks and skins, but you get access to all the Slate Pro uh, plugins that's five grand's worth and some of those are really highly regarded so if you're looking for something that kind of enhances your production productions generally including channel strips kind of mic preamps eqs all sorts of other processing and you're looking for a bundle deal this might just tip it over but like i say good sounding synth uh, quite impressed i'm surprised i hadn't heard about it before but if you want more head over to slate digital and we thank them for supporting us by sponsoring this video